Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are in Rosy Garden. We use Rosy Garden when we are happy. जब हम खुश होते हैं तो हम use करते हैं I am in Rosy Garden. So instead of saying I am happy, I am very happy, you can use I am in Rosy Garden. This will look very impressive and it will sound very unique and trendy. So you can use this sentence. So students, we have learned in our previous video types of sentences. हमने हमारे previous video में sentence के कुछ type जाने. We're starting our today's class. Let's have a recap of our previous video. Okay? So in our previous video, we learned about four types of sentences. These are declarative. Second is interrogative. Third is imperative. And fourth is exclamatory. Okay? So declarative sentence hota hai ek statement. Okay? Jo hume ko information deta hai. Interrogative sentence mein poochhe jate hai questions. इंपेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस होते हैं रिक्वेस्ट कमांड और ऑर्डर वाले एक्सप्लेमेटरी सेंटेंसेस वो होते हैं जो कहे जाते हैं स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग के साथ ओके सो डिक्लेरेटिव सेंटेंस की जो पहचान होती है वो ये होती है कि ये लास्ट में लेता है फुल स्टॉप और साथ ही होता है ये एक स्टेटमेंट इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस में होता है क्वेश्चन मार्क ओके और इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस शुरू होता है हेल्पिंग वर्क के साथ ओके okay? इंपेरेटिव सेंटेंस भी अपने साथ लेता है फुल स्टॉप लेकिन ये होते हैं छोटे सेंटेंसेस ओके लाइक ये सेंटेंस शुरू हो सकते हैं प्लीज से ओके लाइक प्लीज गिव मी अ ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर मुझे पानी का ग्लास दे दीजिए ओके मींस रिक्वेस्ट इफ देर विल बी एनी रिक्वेस्ट देन इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम प्लीज ओके इफ देर इज एनी कमांड एंड ऑर्डर सो यू कैन इजिली आइडेंटिफाई दैट दिस इज एन इंपेरेटिव सेंटेंस ओके नाउ यू विल टॉक If we see any type of exclamation mark, then we can easily identify that this is an exclamatory sentence. अगर हमें exclamation mark दिखे तो हम पहचान सकते हैं ये क्या है एक exclamatory sentence है. Okay. तरीका जिससे आप आसानी से पहचान सकते हैं कि ये एक exclamatory sentence है. Exclamatory sentence usually शुरू होते हैं exclamation mark से, जैसा कि मैंने आपको अपने previous video में बताया था, like alas, hurray, oh no, ouch. These types of exclamation mark will be there. और ये शुरू हो सकते हैं व्हाट अ प्लीज इन सरप्राइज व्हाट से शुरू हो सकते हैं या ये शुरू हो सकते हैं हाउ से होता हुआ कोई सेंटेंस देखे लेकिन लास्ट में आपको क्वेश्चन मार्क नहीं मिले तो आप समझ सकते हैं ये क्या है एक एक्सक्यूमेटरी सेंटेंस है ओके नाउ इन आर टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डू सम मोर एक्सरसाइज ऑफ आर दिस चैप्टर ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सेंटेंसेस देखेंगे उसके बाद आप खुद भी ट्राई करेंगे सेंटेंस के आगे पंचुएशन मार्क लगाने का ओके सो फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज हु हैज ब्रोकन दिस मिरर फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज हु हैज ब्रोकन दिस मिरर ओके हु हैज ब्रोकन दिस मिरर सेकेंड इज ऑल दैट गेटर्स इज नॉट गॉड ऑल दैट Glitters is not God. Okay. Third is how dreadful the accident was. How dreadful the accident was. Okay. You solve the puzzle. You solve the puzzle. Okay. Fifth is what a beautiful design she is making. What a beautiful design she is making. Okay. Sixth is, will you please give me this book? Will you please give me this book? Okay. Seventh is, 
What a horrible sight it was. What a horrible sight it was. Okay, now let's see. Who has broken this mirror? Mirror, it means darpan. Okay, so ye kisne toda hai? Means ye pucha ja raha hai. It's a question. So we will put here question mark. Okay, all that glitters is not gold. Har chamakne wali cheez sona nahi hoti. So it's a statement. Okay, it's telling us something. Ki sari chamakne wali cheez sona nahi hoti. Okay. So here we will put full stop. Okay. How dreadful the accident was. Accident kitna bhayanat tha. So it's a strong feeling. So we will put here exclamation mark. Very good. Brilliant. You solved the puzzle. Okay. So we will put here exclamation mark. Okay. And in the last we will put full stop. Okay, brilliant. Okay, then we will put the exclamation mark after that word. Okay, like if they will be hooray, we want the match. So after hooray, we will put the exclamation mark over there. Okay, what a beautiful design she is making. Yaha question nahi pucha ja raha hai. Yaha bola ja raha hai, what a beautiful design is she making. Ki wo kitna sundar design bana rahi hai. So it's a strong feeling. We will put here. Exclamation mark. Okay. Will you please give me this book? Kya tum mujhe ye book de doge? It's a question. So we will put here question mark. Okay. Next is what a horrible sight it was. Kitna daravna drashya tha. Sight it means drashya. And horrible it means भयानक, ओके? तो कितना भयानक दृश्य था। अगर हम कोई हॉरर मूवी देख लेते हैं, तो हम क्या कहेंगे? Oh my God, कितना भयानक दृश्य था। So it's a strong feeling. So हम इसको कैसे express करेंगे? और strong feeling को हम किसमें express करते हैं? Exclamation sentence में। Very good. So we will put here exclamation mark. आप लोग बहुत smart हो गए हैं, है ना? सारे समझ में आ रहे हैं आपको? Very good. Some more exercises are there. We will do the rules. So our second exercise is Change these declarative sentences into interrogative sentences. Some declarative sentences have given to us and we'll have to change them into interrogative sentences. Okay? So let's start. First is Ravi is going to visit the dentist. The dentist. Okay? What we'll have to do? We'll have to put the helping verb in first. Yes. And then we'll have to put the subject. And subject is Ravi. Is Ravi. And then the same sentence we'll just have to copy. Okay. Is Ravi going to visit the dentist? And in last... Question mark. Okay. So this was the declarative sentence. And now it has changed in to interrogative sentence. Okay. And second is. I will go to Nanital by train. I will go to Nanital by train. Okay. हमें क्या करना होता है हमें अपनी जो हेल्पिंग वर्ब है उसको शुरू में लगाना होता है उसके बाद जो सब्जेक्ट है उसको हेल्पिंग वर्ब के जस्ट बाद और बाकी का सेंटेंस हमें सेम रखना होता है सो so, यहां हेल्पिंग वर्ब है विल सो विल सब्जेक्ट इज आई एंड देन गो टू नैनीताल बाय ट्रेन ओके एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन Mark. Very good. Third is my favorite cuisine is Thai. My favorite cuisine is Thai. Cuisine it means food and Thai it means Thailand. Okay. 
So we will start from the helping verb is Thai. My favorite cuisine. Thai cuisine it means food of Thailand. And in last question mark. Okay. Students fourth A. It was a great learning experience. Fourth A is it was a great learning experience. Okay? It means यह है सीखने का एक बहुत ही अच्छा अनुभव था. Okay? So was is helping verb. So the answer will be was it a great learning experience. Okay? And last question mark. What is fifth? Mr. Roy left before the guests arrived. Before the guests arrived. Okay. So students, a very important thing. If the main verb is second form, then we will start the question from did. अगर हमारी जो main verb है, means जो काम कर रही है मैंने बताया था मेन वर्ब क्या होती है मीन्स काम करना ओके या फिर जिसके लास्ट में लगता है ना जैसे लीव मतलब होता है छोड़ना ओके सो लेफ्ट है यहां पर मेन वर्ब ओके सो लेफ्ट है सेकंड फॉर्म तो जब भी आपको मेन वर्ब सेकंड फॉर्म में मिले तो हम क्वेश्चन शुरू करेंगे डेड से ओके लेकिन अगर हमारी मेन वर्ब फर्स्ट फॉर्म या एस और ई एस के साथ हो तो हम क्वेश्चन शुरू करेंगे डू या Let's say, okay? So we'll start the question from did. Very good. Did Mr. Roy leave before the guests arrived? And in last question mark. And you'll have to keep one thing in mind. If you are using did, then you will not use their second form. We will use First form, okay? What is sixth? So sixth is the person sitting next to me is my brother. The person sitting next to me is my brother. Very good. Okay, now we will change into interrogative. So, helping her is, is, is the person sitting next to me, my brother and then question mark. We haven't done anything special here. We just did what we have done. We just have we have put the helping verb in the first and then we have put the subject and the same sentence we have just copied here. Okay? And what is seven? This handbag belongs to Tanya. Is this handbag belongs to Tanya. Okay? This handbag belongs to Tanya. So, as I have told you in the previous question that if second form is then we will use the question did se shuru karenge. Lekin agar first form is with S or ES then we will start the question with do or does. Now, you can see here that there is S and what is does in the last one? S. Okay? If there is here that does this handbag belong to Tanya? लेकिन यहां पर बिलोंग नहीं आ सकता था क्योंकि यहां पर तानिया सिंगुलर है ओके इसलिए हमने यूज किया एस ओके सो सो वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म के साथ अगर एस और ई आता है इट मींस वो हमेशा आएगा सिंगुलर पर्सन के साथ 
लेकिन अगर वर्ब की फर्स्ट फॉर्म आती है इट मीन्स वो आती है प्लूरल नंबर के साथ ओके सो तानिया यहाँ पर सिंगुलर है इसीलिए यहाँ पर आ रहा है वर्ब फर्स्ट फॉर्म वेल एस और ई एस सो वी विल स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन विथ डस ओके सो डस एंड देन सब्जेक्ट डस दिस हैंड बैग एंड देन सेम Now we will not write as here because we have used the s here. Okay, belong to Anya, and then question mark. Okay, and what is it? I was referring to my uncle in that entire conversation. I was referring to my अंकल इन दैट एंटायर कन्वर्सेशन ओके एंड फॉर स्टॉप एज यू कैन सी वॉज इज हेयर इट मीन्स इट्स अ हेल्पिंग वॉज सो वी विल कीप इट इन फर्स्ट वॉज आफ्टर दैट वी विल कीप द सब्जेक्ट आई एंड देन सेम टू सेम वॉज आई रेफरिंग to my uncle in that entire conversation okay was i referring to my uncle in that entire conversation very good is yes, i would like to have some orange juice and biscuits ninth is i Would like to have some orange, some orange orange juice and biscuit. biscuit okay it's sorry it's biscuits okay so would is helping verb here so the answer will be would i and then same like to have some orange juice and biscuits okay and last question ma very good what is tenth richa is going to the library because she wants to borrow a grammar book richa is going to library because she wants to borrow because she wants to borrow a grammar book okay so is is helping verb here so the answer will be is and then subject richa going to library because she wants to borrow a grammar book okay and here will be question mark borrow it means udhar lena is the train will leave at 6 o'clock in the morning sorry it's 11 the train will leave at 6 o'clock in the morning okay 
Will is helping word here and the train is subject. Okay, so subject will come into first. Will the train leave at six o'clock in the morning? Okay, and in last question, mark. Very good. What is 12th? So 12th is, there weren't any students in the class today. There weren't any students in the class today. And full stop. Okay. As you can see in the book, there is there weren't any students in the class. Like if any aata hai, to hum singular use karte hai. It means student. Agar sab hota to hum students laga sakte the. Okay. So there is an error. Okay. So weren't it means were not. Okay. So were not mein were hai helping verb. Okay. Or there hai hamara subject. Okay, so let's do it. Were there and then not so then same to same any student in the class today and then question mark. Okay. So I hope you have understood these two exercises. Now the remaining exercise is that we will next video. Mein complete karenge, okay? Till then, you have to practice and try to solve this exercise. Okay? Thank you.